Hey, this is Mac Gonzalez with Mac Rumors, hands-on with Apple's new Photos app for the Mac. This is set to be released in the spring, but is out now for developers, and this replaces iPhoto and Aperture with a new interface that more closely resembles the Photos app on iOS and follows Yosemite's design language. It also allows you to sync your photos through iCloud Photo Library, so you'll be able to have all your photos on all your devices and through the web. So you can sort through your photos by moments, collections, and years, much like on iOS, and you also have tabs for photos, shared, albums, and projects, and this will transfer over if you upgrade from iPhoto or from Aperture. There's also an option for editing your photos, and while it's not as powerful as Aperture, it does give you a lot of the tools that you will need to make basic edits. You can adjust exposure and color, see a histogram, change the white balance and definition, and there's also eight built-in filters. And you can also share to sites like Facebook, Twitter, and Flickr. Overall, it seems to be an improvement over iPhoto, but is not as powerful as Aperture and is missing a few things that iPhoto had. But at the same time, the performance is much improved and the ability to have all your photos sync with all your devices is a plus. That's our hands-on with photos for Mac and you will be able to get it in the spring. Again, I'm Matt with MacRumors and we will see you in the next one.